in Monsanto's Roundup herbicide begins today, and cruise passengers are more likely to want to get off the beaten path. Jane King has these stories and so much more. It's today's business report. Today, the first of hundreds of cancer patients goes to trial against Monsanto. The 46-year-old man blames his years of working with Monsanto's Roundup herbicide for causing his cancer, and all 800 people say they got cancer from Roundup. Monsanto says Roundup has been tested by regulatory authorities who have determined it is safe. Late T is setting the price at free for a skinny television lineup for some customers after announcing that it closed on the deal to buy Time Warner last week. Now, the CEO says it will cost nothing for unlimited wireless customers and $15 a month for others. Dave & Buster's is revealing more information about its Jurassic Park virtual reality ride. The ride, which opened in some restaurants last week, is set between the first Jurassic World movie and the newest sequel, Fallen Kingdom, that's arriving in the U.S. next week. And Royal Caribbean has agreed to pay roughly a billion dollars for Silver Seas Cruises. That's a line that specializes in luxury and expedition cruises. Its smaller ships can go to more remote locations, such as Svalbard, that's near the North Pole. Also, Easter Island, the Galapagos, and Antarctica, all locations that larger ships have difficulty accessing. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your business update. Jane King, thanks so much. Let's take a look, see how noon stocks are performing. Dow Jones Industrial Data, whopping 152 points. Sit right now at 24,938. NASDAQ Composite also down 12 points is it right now at 77.34. Well, be sure to watch out for scams when booking your travel plans. Chances are you're planning a summer vacation and looking for deals to fit your wallet. Here are some tips, though, from the Federal Trade Commission to keep in mind before you pack your bags. Be sure to try to avoid offers for free trips that require you to pay. A company that offers you a free vacation may just be a little too good to be true. Say no to robocalls, and if you get an unwanted call from someone trying to sell you something, just ignore it. Always know the cancellation policies and pay by credit card gives you more protection than paying with a debit card, cash, or a check. Americans are not forgetting to eat their broccoli. In fact, broccoli is the most popular vegetable in America. New Green Giant survey finds broccoli is the favorite vegetable in 47% of states across the nation. Corn takes the second spot, chosen as a favorite vegetable in nine states. Carrots top the list among Washington state and Maine consumers. And Idaho, known for its potatoes, was the only state to choose green peas as its most popular veggie. African Americans and Latinos diagnosed with diabetes later in life may face a higher risk of pancreatic cancer. This is according to a University of Southern California study of 49,000 adults. African Americans diagnosed with type 2 diabetes after the age of 50 were three times more likely to develop pancreatic cancer within three years than non-diabetics. Latinos were four times more likely. Late onset diabetes did not, though, increase the risk for breast, prostate, or colorectal cancers. And more weight loss is better for overweight adults with knee osteoarthritis. Studies have shown a 10% weight loss can significantly reduce pain and improve mobility in these patients. But new research from Wake Forest University shows doubling that standard was even more beneficial to patients who lost more weight, had even less pain, and better overall health. Well, one man took a month to travel to the World Cup in a unique way. Going to explain in today's News of the Week.